Welcome to Keynote's mobile internet testing environment, also known as MITE. My name is Nishit Mohan, and I am a senior product manager with Keynote Systems. In this video, I will give you a short overview on how to use MITE. MITE is a desktop tool that lets you test the quality and optimize the performance of your mobile website. MITE is unique because it gives you access to 1,800 devices and 11,000 device profiles on your desktop. It also lets you record scripts to automate testing and to perform ongoing performance monitoring. And lastly, it gives you actionable results to improve the quality and performance of your website. In this video, you will learn about the MITE user interface. You will then learn how to analyze website performance using the Browse feature, then how to access MITE's device library, and finally, how to record a script in MITE. So now, let's get started with MITE. Upon launching MITE, you will see the start page in the middle of the screen. The start page contains additional resources to learn about MITE. You can also access the MITE community from the start page. On the top of the screen is the ribbon that contains different action buttons. You can perform any task by clicking on any one of the main action buttons. Let's go ahead and click on Browse. Now you need to specify the starting URL and the device you want to select. Let's go ahead and enter Target and select the iPhone 3GS device profile from the MITE library. We are now in browse mode and can interact with the site just like a real user would interact with the site on his or her own device. You can click on any link and navigate the site just like a real user would navigate it on a real device. Along with visually seeing the website on the mobile device, you can also look at the performance results in the waterfall graph. The waterfall graph gives you a detailed object level performance analysis of the downloaded page. By clicking on any object in the waterfall graph, you can see more details for that object in the object view at the bottom of the screen. MITE also has a navigation bar on the left side of the screen. This navigation bar lets you switch between different layouts of MITE. Let's go ahead and click on the verification layout. In this particular layout, you will get a MITE score for the downloaded page along with verification results that will help you verify how well the web page is optimized for the mobile device. The description of the test is available in this box. The left navigation menu also takes you to the device library where you can see all the device profiles that are available in MITE. Over here, you can select any device profile and look at its properties. MITE can also be used to record scripts. You can easily record scripts by clicking on the record button in the ribbon. Enter the starting URL and then select the device profile. You are now in record mode. As you click on links and navigate the website, the script gets recorded. You can also add custom validation steps to ensure you're getting the expected results. After you save the script, you can run the same script on any other device profile available in MITE. If you're a MITE Pro user, you can run the same script across a multiple number of devices simultaneously by performing a matrix test. If you are a MWP customer, you can upload the same script to the remote script library and then provision it for 24 by 7 performance monitoring. Let's do a quick recap of what we've learned so far. First, we went over the MITE user interface and learned how to use the ribbon and action buttons. Then, we learned how to analyze website performance using the Browse feature. Next, we went over the device library and finally, we learned how to record a script in MITE. With that, you should now be ready to start using MITE. If you don't have a copy of MITE, 
simply go to the website listed on the slide and download a free copy of Mite 2.0. Enjoy Mite and thanks for watching.